Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Gabrielle and today we are going to be switching over my fall wardrobe for my summer wardrobe or vice versa. I said it backwards, but I'm taking my summer wardrobe out. I'm gonna be going through it, seeing what I want to donate or sell. And I'm going to also be going through my winter wardrobe and seeing like what I still like or what I would like to give away this year because I don't want to keep things that I'm not going to wear. And I think this is such a good time to declutter because you can kind of look at your summer wardrobe and say like, okay, what did I wear this past summer? And what did I not wear this past summer? So please come along with me. Let me show you the situation. All right, so I have sweatshirts over here because I wear them all year. But right here, we've got dresses, summer shirts, and then some random blazers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this out, see what I wanna keep and give away. And then over there are all of my sweaters. That is a giveaway pile. This is giveaway and that's giveaway. So, I'm, and this is summer clothes that I took out of my drawer. So I'm gonna be going through all of this right now. Help. Okay, I absolutely love this top. It's just such a good staple. I also love this top. I've had it for a really long time and I wear it way too much. I like this, but I honestly did not wear this this past year and I feel like it would be a good piece to donate. Not me questioning myself at every turn. This I don't love, but I feel like it'll come back in style. And also it's kind of sentimental because I bought it on our engagement trip. So I feel like I can't give it away. I used to be super sentimental about literally every piece of clothing that I owned, but I think since I started thrifting more, I just kind of realized like, uh, clothing come and go, comes and goes, and I'm probably gonna find this again at Goodwill like in a few years, so, but I am gonna keep this. I thrifted this this past summer, but it honestly makes me look like a sack of potatoes, so I will not be keeping this. I love this top. I bought it this past summer and it is so cute, but honestly, it hurts my boobs so bad. It's really, really tight, so I will be getting rid of this. This is really a cute top. I didn't wear it that much, but I feel like it's good quality and it's J. Crew, so I'm gonna keep it and then see if I end up wearing it next summer because I got it towards the end of this season this year. This was my beach cover up this year and I love it so much. So I will definitely be keeping it. This is a fall transition piece and I love this. Like it's so, so good for layering. This is kind of low quality, but also good for layering. So I'm gonna keep it. I thrifted this top a while ago and I am so excited to wear it this fall. It's gonna be so cute. I am sadly gonna be getting rid of this top. It like stretched out on the neck, like really gross and it shrunk so much. So I am gonna keep this one just because as you can see, like the neck has not stretched out as much and it is still in pretty good shape and it didn't shrink. So I feel like this is a good layering piece for the winter. I love this so much. It's so cute and it's from Gap. So I'm definitely keeping this. I thrifted this skirt for the fall and I feel like it's gonna be so cute with some boots. Just like a little black midi skirt and it has a little slit right here. So I'm excited to wear that. All right, I feel like this dress is giving like Little House on the Prairie. Follow my vision. I think it would be cute with some black boots with like a thin turtleneck underneath for the winter. So I'm gonna try that. And then if I don't end up liking it, I'm just gonna take it right back to Goodwill. Where I stood with you in the night, it begins the light from the middle where I first. So, as it turns out, I'm a handyman. So, let me show you. <laughs> this shelf right here is literally falling down. So, I'm gonna drill it back in, okay? Oh God. All right, so the top of it may be still falling down, but at least the bottom is secure. All right, so I'm working with what I have. I already have this. 
So I'm gonna use it for my sweater storage. I decided this year that I'm not gonna hang out my sweaters anymore because I feel like it's messing up the shoulders of them. So I'm gonna fold them and put them in here. Probably gonna run out of room. And I would much rather have like cubes or something like a, uh, an acrylic bin with drawers. But this is what we have, so I'm gonna work with it. Okay, I thought I was recording, but I am not. I'm kind of torn about this because I wore it a lot in college and Austin really likes it. But I just don't wear it that much anymore. Also, I thrifted this last year. This little zip up with pockets. I love it so much. Um, it's just like cozy mountain vibes. So I'm going to keep it. And anything that has zippers, I am going to hang up. And anything that is just a regular sweater, I'm going to put in the cubbies. I'm going to keep this because it's so cute and like so fall. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of huge, but also it's giving like bougie vibes. Oh gosh, my hair. So I might just keep it for now. I'm gonna hang it up. I love me a good chunky sweater. Like, give me all the chunky sweater vibes. I also have this brown scarf that's so cute. I bought this last year at Ross and I really like it. It's good quality, but it has this on the back. I feel like that's just not my vibe. And also the off-white just doesn't match literally anything. It doesn't match anything that I would want to wear underneath it. So I'm going to give it away, I think. I think it's time to retire this one. I wore it into the ground. I don't know. I just, I don't like how it fits me anymore. And I also don't like how long it is. Like it literally almost comes to my knees. I love this so much. <laughs> Love this. It's like a corduroy pullover. Another corduroy pullover. Cute little cropped sweater. Another turtleneck. This sweater is really cute, but it is in really bad condition. Blue turtleneck, very cute. I've had this sweater for literally like six years. I don't know what this brand is. American Weekend, but it is really held up and I love the sweater. It's one of my favorites. It's just like a classic oversized shape, but it's, you know, just got like a really good cut to it and you can just wear it with so many different things. This I also thrifted. It's Mario Wave. I don't know what brand that is, but it's literally adorable. And I want to say, yeah, it's 100% cashmere. Got another turtleneck. Very cute. It's like a mock neck sweater from French Connection. I guess I really like mock neck <laughs> sweaters because a good majority of mine are. Also, this is super cute. It seems like I either like a regular cut, like round neckline, a mock neck, or a V-neck, which is kind of funny to me. Like seeing it all laid out, you don't realize what you like until you kind of go through everything. I thrifted this J. Crew cashmere v-neck sweater and it is so soft you guys. I can't wait to wear it in the winter. And then I thrifted this the other week to wear. It's the Fenzia brand. I don't know what that is. Um, but anyways, I got this to wear like over some tights in the winter with some high boots. For intentional praying with you. I want to do it sometime that's not in bed because we always pray in bed. I want to like spend active time I think that's a good idea, babe. Praying for our stuff and reading Bible verses separate from that. I think the morning would be best, but you and I are both not. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so maybe we can do that right after I get home from work. <laughs> so yeah, we need to start setting aside some time at some point in the day to do that. We could do the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to set myself up for failure. Actually, maybe after dinner we can do it. That's a good idea. Sounds good. Finish those. Finish those. We do those. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Love you. Love you. We love when my camera accidentally switches to manual focus. Not. Well, this is going to be exceptionally difficult. I'm having a problem. OK, 
Okay, well, we made that work, but it's kind of questionable. Ugh. Okay, so I organized my sweaters here. These are like mock neck, and then mostly v-neck, and then some mock neck and regular ones. And I want to explain the categories in my closet. So here I have just like layering pieces, blazers, cardigans, turtlenecks, long sleeve, and all my sweatshirts. So I still have more stuff to put in my closet. So let me do that really fast. I take it all the way, the way, the way to you. Say hey to my vlog. Why is hey. it focusing? What are you doing? You're not putting me in anything. Oh no, my light died. Okay guys, so my light died that I was using to film all of this. But anyways, I wanted to show you the progress that I made. Update, dresses and skirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve, turtleneck, layering pieces, blazers t-shirts and more layering pieces like tank tops and then this vest and then here is all of my sweaters ignore that that's laundry we need to do and then i'm getting rid of all of these clothes those are my summer clothes more summer clothes i also intentionally swapped out all of my hangers for only white hangers because they've been mismatched for so long I have been having turquoise hangers, green hangers, clear, black, dry cleaner hangers for forever. And I just wanted them to all be the same thing. I want the satin ones, but for now, the white ones will be fine. Case in point, like that is ooh, chaotic. Anyways, those are my summer clothes. I'm going to put them in these vacuum sealed bags. Well, I'll leave this one because... This one ripped when I was putting my winter clothes out. So, that's very unfortunate. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you go ahead and switch over your wardrobe so you feel more organized for winter because it can be a chaotic time, but it's also cozy, especially if you have spaces that are organized. Like, that just makes me want to put on a cute fall outfit. If it was disorganized, I would be literally shrieking and not wanting, what? And definitely not wanting to even put together an outfit because I don't know where anything is. That's why I used to organize my clothes by color, but I stopped doing that a couple of years ago and now I organize it by category so that I know exactly what I have, where it is, and how I can layer it and style it with another piece. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.